So I had this wild idea that I would become the most toxic player on console GTA Online. Where I would go around in my god mode speedo, which I found out was actually incredibly easy to do, and just absolutely murk anyone that came across my path. I mean, I did not hold back for anyone doing business stuff, anyone doing supply runs, sale missions, it did not matter. If they were on the map, they were a target. So, let me know if you guys enjoy this and some of the funny reactions I get out of this. And of course, let me know if you guys want to see more of this or anything else in general. But let's get started. And my killing spree begins when I get this little business battle notification here. But before I do that, I stop by Los Santos Customs and absolutely obliterate this guy. He was just AFK, but like I said, if you're on the map, you're a target for me. I was really, really late to actually get the business battle cargo, but I was trying to meet them where they were actually trying to deliver it. So this one smart ass and a night shark pulls up and I was able to kill him quite easily if I actually hit my shots just perfect perfect and bam he just lag dies and he I don't think he really expected that I then proceeded to get stuck on this I don't even know this guy was nice enough though to get me out of being lodged between the night shark and the wall and then I was able to absolutely go bonkers on these guys doing the business battle I was able to get a few kills in, but I was unable to stop the business battle altogether. After one of my kills, this guy sends me a one-on-one -on -one death match, which I thought was probably on accident, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to just absolutely murk him and embarrass him in a 1v1 death match, even though I'm in a god mode speedo. Turns out though, if you're in a 1v1 death match, I don't think your god mode speedo is no longer god mode, so one of his buddies ends up killing me, and then I was so embarrassed I just left the session. Then we meet our boy Jalen here, who was very, very, very upset when I started killing him. He sends me a few messages. I found him in the strip club doing the agency asset recovery mission. So I decided to use my big brain and place a mine at the back door and then just defend the front door to see if he were to come out of the front door, which turned out to be a brilliant idea. I then proceeded to kill him a few times. And our boy Jalen here ends up getting away because turns out that I was never even in god mode that entire time. I, I'm just an idiot I guess. After he got away I messaged him lol and this is what he responded with. I, you in a god mode van and I don't care I'm doing jobs whatever. Apparently he doesn't care all that much but he ends up sending me a few more messages after this. And then he gave this weird excuse that he didn't even try to stop me from killing him, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever. Dr. CBD here was one of our probably long-lasting friendships in this lobby that I ended up massacring for a while, so we'll see more of Dr. CBD as he kills himself there. I was able to track him down as he became a motorcycle president or circle serve CEO and was able to kill him. But he did not like that whatsoever. He was he had a mission to hunt me down the rest of the lobby and the rest of the time I was here. He began killing himself over and over again, so I decided to leave him alone, at least for now. And as you guys can see, Dr. CBD is on a mission to kill me, and for some reason I guess he doesn't know that he can't kill me in his oppressor, so he's just following me around, 
being an absolute nuisance I wasn't able to kill him here but like I said he's gonna be on our hip following me for a while in this video and when I was recording this video I really thought the night shark was one of the most OP defensive vehicles in the game until I found out the god mode speedo actually destroys it pretty easily you just shoot out the driver except for when you get stuck like me this part right here kind of sucked but I was able to get out because the machine gun on the roof is so powerful, I was able to push the Night Shirt back just a little bit and actually be able to slip out, which is kind of insane. This this machine gun is so powerful, it is able to wipe out like just regular ped cars and cop cars and civilian cars just super, super easily. It just rips through everything. Here's Dr. CBD here. We caught him lack and we were able to smoke him right there. And then, like I said, the cop cars just blow up. They're just, they're just like cheese. They're just butter. We just go right through them, man. They're so flimsy to this amazing turret. My next few encounters with Mr. Doctor here, um, it just ends in total bullshit. He just ends up blowing himself up with the minigun out. I ended up killing another stray dude there, AFK, or, I don't know, jerking off in the park. I don't know. <laughs> I pull up on this person right here, and I don't kill them initially, but it ends up being one of the most satisfying kills I get all day. Knock him off guard with a gas pump explosion, then I do it again, but I was still unable to kill him, even when chasing him down the street for a while. Until I was finally able to hit one bullet through the window. While in the process of killing them, there was a notification about some nightclub goods getting moved around. So I started licking my chops. I started getting real excited because this is where people probably get the most angry is when you mess with their supplies or business stuff, which I totally understand that they should get angry. But during the process of this video, obviously I was being really, really toxic and a huge, huge dickhead. They were flying up north of the map going to Sandy Shores and Dr. CBD ends up finding me as I'm hunting them down. I am getting pretty damn close as you guys can see here on the map but Dr. CBD is blowing me up messing me up driving off road and stuff so it was a little tough to get to him but when I finally got to him I found this bozo stuck on a rock which um I, I say that now but I actually end up getting stuck on the rock later and <laughs> you'll see what happens but I was able to kill him and then blow up his supplies pretty easily because he was, he had to get out there was no way he was able to move. It doesn't look all that stuck, but it is stuck. Trust me, like the little um, sled on the front of the Speedo puts you in some of these really, really shitty situations when you're on this rough terrain and grounds and stuff. It really, really sucks, but yeah, he was stuck and I was able to blow up his supplies pretty easily after that. Before I blow up his supplies, though, I was able to get one more kill off on him. This speedo though was an absolute tank. I forget how powerful and strong this thing is. Even when it's not in god mode, it just eats bullets, it eats proximity mines. And like you guys saw there, I got stuck for a little bit. Bozo and the oppressor wasn't able to do anything though, and then I proceeded to finally blow up his supplies at some point. It took me, like I said, a while. A bunch of proximity mines and my dumbass gets stuck in here as well. And you guys will see what'll happen here after I get stuck for a while. It, it, it ended up being like five minutes or so. Me stuck in this little, tiny little trench. I wasn't able to do anything. I was literally stuck here for like roughly five minutes. So Dr. CBD and Dude Supplies, I blew up. Um, they were just hovering around me, trying to kill me, and I finally called it quits and blew myself up. I was quickly able to get back in my speedo though because I teleported to my apartment where I have a pack standard finale heist so I quickly teleported there and got back in my speedo and just started killing some more people for fun. He was able to get into the Los Santos customs, I don't know how, I thought I got the kill there but I guess I didn't. I was chasing him while he was off radar and the guy behind me was in the Deluxo or Stromberg or something or Toretto, one of the rocket cars and I dropped a proximity mine and he was following me and he drove over it and blew up. I love proximity mines there. They're so much fun. You saw all the proximity mine plays I've gotten in this video so far. They're they're just so fun and people overlook them so easily. 
I continue my killing spree, and I got this really incredibly lucky kill there on the guy's supplies I blew up earlier. He, him and I think CBD were teaming up against me, and then shortly after I killed him out of his insurgent, CBD didn't want to be his friend anymore, I don't think, and began killing him. I'm not going to show too much of it, but that's actually what happened, and I, I don't know why. CBD was just really, really upset with him at this point. I was able to pick up a few bounties there, but I wanted to set a trap for someone that was driving in the gun running monster truck to do a sail mission. The trap didn't really work, but I did catch him on his heels here trying to go over the barrier right here in the freeway. I knew exactly where he was going, and then he just drives up the wall, and then I was able to kill him and then finish off his supplies as well. And of course, rightfully, he was angry with me, so he began chasing me down on his oppressor mark too. I saw him on the ground, so I took my chance in dropping some prox mines, and of course he drove right over it. And here I was able to get the final kill of the video as he was trying to hide up in the rocks. And then from here on out, most of my friends have already left the game, including CBD and Game Ruiner, I believe. So I just called it a video there. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. I don't normally do these kinds of things, but it has been really, really fun to mess around with some people in GTA Online. So if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know. Maybe next time I can go after some tryhards or actually try to, you know, be the hero for once. But uh, anyways, it's fun being the bad guy every once in a while. Um, let me know what you guys think. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.